I'm going to share with you a recent fail that I've done on YouTube. So my goal was to teach you guys how to create a podcast in two minutes, but my video on how to create it in two minutes was 30 minutes long. So obviously that's not going to save you any time. So this is going to be a redo. And for those that want to get more, much more detailed information on how to do it in case you process things a little bit differently than others. I'll also link up that 30 minute podcast. So I'm going to start sharing my screen with you. And before I do that, the first thing I wanted to let you know is why should you do a podcast? The majority of people nowadays listen to way, way more exponentially more podcasts than they did maybe four or five years ago. And most people that we watch on YouTube, also have a podcast. And so I don't know if any of you guys can relate to this. I, I listen to Gary Vee a lot. So whoever you listen to, but I listen to Gary Vee a lot. So typically with Gary Vee, I'll listen to his video. And while I'm listening to the video, maybe I'll have to go in my car. So then I'll start listening to the podcast and then I'll get home later and maybe I'll finish watching the video. So a lot of times we do things, we run, we were driving in the car, and it's best to listen to podcasts. And um, another reason, and I'll get into how to make a podcast really quickly um, after that, but is when someone Googles us as agents, they wanna, they, they will, I guess anyone that's gonna think about doing business with us will Google us. And if, while, if they don't know us, and while they're looking at all the results for us, it shows a podcast, and they listen to it, they're gonna be much more connected with us than if they never heard our voice. And if you have videos, that's great too, but if you don't have videos or you have less videos than you'd like, and you have a podcast, and it's about something maybe not related to real estate, and I'll tell you the topics on what you should do in a bit, but if they listen to you, they're gonna be more connected to you. So I'll give you an example. It's like, if I've never spoken to you before, and you've never seen a video of mine, and all we did was text, the first time I have a phone call with you and hear, you hear my voice, you'll probably be more connected with me. So that's, that's my belief in why podcasts help you create you know, your relationship with someone many times before you meet them. So let's get on to sharing my screen with you. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to anchor.fm. If you just put anchor, and podcast in Google, you should be able to find this. So this is the, this is the company that does it. The, everything I'm gonna teach you is, is free. So you'll go on iTunes or um, if you have Android, you'd go to your app store and you download Anchor. It's gonna be purple, it's gonna look like this. It's free again. Anchor is owned by Spotify. So whatever I teach you how to do a podcast, it's automatically gonna go to Spotify, it's automatically gonna go to iTunes, and there's seven other different um, places that it'll go to. So this is how you do the podcast. First of all, you download the app. Once you download the app, you register, you could do it through Google, you can do it through Facebook, you can do it uh, multiple different ways. The next thing you're gonna do is to go into a quiet room. You're gonna put these AirPods on or something similar to that, and then you're just gonna talk. You're gonna talk and it could be on any topic. So people ask me all the time, what should the topic be? If it's gonna be your first podcast and if it's gonna be something on, on that someone Googles and they happen to find it, do it on something that you're passionate about. It doesn't have to be about real estate. In fact, try not to do the first few on, try and do the first few that aren't on real estate. Maybe talk about your family, your mom, your dad, something uh, something that's passionate that, that you like. Maybe if you like the Mets, if you like the Dolphins, if you like a sports team, whatever the team is, if there's an athlete you like, if whatever it is, if you're passionate about cooking, whatever it is that you're passionate about, talk about it. So you'd start the podcast by, so first of all, you download the app, you go in a quiet room, you put these headphones on, you open up your app and you press record, that's it. You press record and you start talking. Once you start talking, you'll talk about one of these subjects that I mentioned. And after that, um, all you do is you press stop 
And after you press stop, it's going to let you hear what you said. So it gives you another option to add background music. And there's, I don't know, 20 or 50 or 100 different things of background music that you can put in. So do that, add the background music. And then after that, you can add like hashtags, different topics, so someone could find it a little bit easier and then preview it and then press publish. Once you press publish, it's gonna go to iTunes, Spotify, and I think it's seven other different platforms, podcast platforms. It'll get there pretty quickly. Within a day, it should be in all of them. Spotify, since it's Anchor's owned by Spotify, it'll go there pretty immediately, maybe a few minutes. And so that's how you do a podcast. So with that said, let me give you some best practices. First thing is, when you start the podcast, don't introduce yourself. Don't say, hi, this is Amit. I am a real estate agent in Miami. No one cares about that. No one cares about you until they care about what you say. And I repeat that a lot of times, but it's true. It's like a speaker going up on stage and telling the world who they are, and then they start speaking. People are gonna tune them out. But if they start some, with something engaging, it's like a video. In the beginning of a video, it needs to be engaging. Otherwise, people aren't gonna continue listening or watching. So when you start the podcast, start off with something engaging. So instead of me saying, hi, I'm Amit and I, I sell real estate in Miami, I could say like, this is the, so maybe I start like this, if I'm talking about real estate. I still remember the most memorable day of my life in real estate. It started at 5 a.m. when I got the phone call. And if I start it like that, I draw people into it. So whatever you're talking, about and then later maybe at the end if you want to say who you are and how people can find you or contact you by all means do that but do it later do it after you've you've earned the right to give your information so that's how you do a podcast um, another thing best practice how long does it need to be as long as it's enjoyable as long as it's entertaining we can see commercials that we're tired of watching after five seconds and we change it, but we can watch a four hour movie. So make sure the length is about however long, <clears throat> excuse me, however long you think someone will listen to. And when you do it, be, be um, aware of your audience. Don't ask a bunch of realtors what you should do a podcast on. Ask your friends what it should be on that aren't in real estate. And the last thing I have to say is when you do the podcast, make sure it's probably maybe 30% real estate, 40% real estate. You want people to, to connect with you based on who you are rather than you having it just listed or just sold. People don't care about that as much as you think they do. And it's very little that they care about it unless they're your friends and family and they care about it still less than you think they do. So make it on something that's not real estate related most of the time. And those times that you do talk about real estate, make it enjoyable, entertaining. Don't just give a market report. If you're gonna give a market report, make it entertaining, like saying um, something like uh, the house that was on the market the longest and sold or something that is different than the typical stats. No one really cares about that except maybe a few, a very, very small percentage of the population. Anyways, that's all I got. Hope to see you guys again soon. And I will stop sharing my screen. And if you ever wanna get in touch with me, my the easiest way is to go to our website, allinmiami.com. Take care guys, love you, bye.